in this video, I want to show the matrix multiplication uh, of associativity. So here we want to prove that uh, the product of A, A, B times C is same as the product of A times B, C. So let's take the first left-hand side. The left-hand side is A times B, C. So we want to multiply the matrix Sorry, it's A, B times C. The left-hand side is, the left-hand side is A, B times C. So first, let's do A, B. So what is A, B? You have to multiply matrix A and B. So let me write matrix A, which is 1, negative 1, 2, 0, and 0, 1. You have to multiply that to B which is a 3 by 2 matrix. So this is 1, negative 1, 0, and 0, 2, 3. Now, by notation, this is called, this has got how many rows? This has got two rows and three columns. So this is called a 2 by 3 matrix. Always the first number is the rows and the second number is column. This is how many rows are there? They've got three rows and two columns. So this is three by two. Now you can multiply matrix only when these two numbers are equal. This is how I see three and three should be equal. And the product, when you multiply it, will be in the dimension of two by two. You'll have two rows and two columns. So let's multiply. So how do you multiply? So to multiply, what you do is, you multiply the column, the first column with the first row. You multiply the first column with the first row. So 1 times 1 is 1, plus 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, and 0 times 0 is 0. So this is the first, first element. So first column, first row. And then first column, second row. That will be the second element. So the same process. 1 times 0 is 0. 2 times 2 is 4. And 0 times 3 is 0. Okay, so let me cancel this. So now I'm, I'm going to use a different color. So now you have to take the second column and the first row. Second column and first row will be this element or this entry. So this would be negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. 0 times anything is 0. Minus 0 doesn't matter. And 1 times 0 is 0. And the same way, now this second row and second column. Okay, so this is... Uh, this is, this is second row and second column, the same way. So minus 1 times 0 is 0, 0 times 2 is 0, and 1 times 3 is 3. So can you see this is two, two rows and two columns. So the, the dimension of this matrix is 2 by 2. This is how I remember. You can multiply two matrix when the number of columns is equal to the number of rows the first and the second and the dimension would be this number times this number so let's simplify this so this is what one minus t so this is minus one this is minus one this is four and three so this is a times b a b is a two by two matrix two by two matrix so we have done a b and now you have to multiply by c so let me write it again. So this is AB times C is, so let me write AB, which is a two by two matrix is negative one, negative one. I'll go very slowly, negative one, negative one, four and three. So this is a two by two matrix. And you have to multiply to C which is, what's the dimension here? You've got two rows and one column. So this is two by one, two by one matrix. So let me, so that you have to multiply by one, negative one. 
1 negative 1 so can we multiply so this is 2 by 1 so the number of columns is equal to the number of rows so you can multiply so yeah multiplying it the same process first column this is first column first row so you have to first column first row so let me use a color so this is first column we do multiply the first column with the first row and you uh, that would be the first entry or element so negative 1 negative 1 times 1 is negative 1 and 4 times negative 1 is negative 4 and then you got this entry you got the second row you got only one column here so this is negative 1 take away uh, this is negative 1 take away 3 so this is 2 by 1 matrix which is negative 5 negative 4 so you can say a b times c is negative 5 negative 4 so let's so let me save this let me copy this so let me copy it copy and I want to paste it here so that I can see the working let me paste it here paste okay here it is so now the right hand side what's your right hand side your right hand side is a times a times BC so let me first find BC so BC is what is B which is 1 negative 1 0 0 2 3 so what's the dimension a good practice is to write the dimension you got two three rows and two columns so this is 3 by 2 matrix okay and you have to multiply it by C which is 1 negative 1 which is a 2 by 1 matrix 2 by 1 matrix so the these two numbers are equal so you can multiply and your diamond should be three rows and one column okay three rows and one column so first first row first column so one times one is one plus zero second row first you've got only one column so this is negative one uh, take away two this is your second row and only one column so negative one times one is negative one two times negative one is negative two third row first column only one column that is zero minus three so this is a three by one matrix which is one negative three negative three so it's a good practice to write the dimension you've got three rows one column so this is three by one matrix so what is that you want to prove you want to prove a times BC so a times BC so which is equal to what is a so let me copy this a so that I can save time Oops. okay I can't do I had to copy the whole thing so it's one one two zero in the first row one two zero in the first row and in the second row is minus one zero one minus one zero one is that right yeah and you have to multiply that's a this is your a and you want to multiply time with bc what's your bc this is your bc bc is one negative three negative three so this is how many rows you have got two rows so this is two this is two by three uh, matrix so this is two rows two by three matrix and this is three by one matrix three by one matrix so let's multiply and here you can see these two are equal so your answer will be two by one uh, 2 by 1 this should be 
Sorry for pausing the video. So where were we? We want to prove that A times BC. We want to find this A times BC. We saw BC was 1, negative 3, 3, negative 3. And A is this. So let's finish the process. So this is going to be a 2 by 1 matrix. We will have two rows and one column. Okay. So first row, first column. So 1 times 1 is 1. Uh, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. And 0 times that will be 0. And you've got second row, one column. So this is negative 1. 0, that will be 0. And negative 3. And what have we got? So this is equal to, so this is A times BC, which is equal to, this is negative 5, negative 4, which is 2 by 1 matrix. So let's check 2 by 1 matrix. So what did we get? So we are saying A times BC is negative 5, negative 4, and what did we get here? we saw that AB times C is also the same answer. So yeah, this is how you can show that the commutative, uh, sorry, the associative property of multiplication works if the dimensions are correct. So you can multiply matrix, let me go over. You can multiply matrix only when these two numbers are same. Okay, you can't multiply any two matrix. So the commutative property of doesn't hold in matrix multiplication. That means if you have A times B is not always equal to B times A. Because you can multiply, it's possible to multiply, suppose you have say 3 by 3 matrix. This is a 3, suppose A is a 3 by 3 matrix. And B is 3 by 2 matrix. Then you can multiply A times B. You'll get A times B, which would be a 3 times a 3 by 2 matrix. Okay, but if you go B times A, B times A is not possible. B times A is not possible. Because the number of rows, number of columns is not equal to the number of rows not possible but it it is true when it is the associative property so here you can say so here ultimately you can say this implies a b times c is same as a times b c 